Hey, hello everyone, my name is Chris and welcome back to some more Player Unknown Spellgrounds. Alright guys, PUBG recently got another patch, it's called Patch 7.3 and let's quickly go through it. So, here it is, Season 7 Vehicle Balance, Explosion Mechanic Changes. Vehicles no longer explode instantly upon reaching 0 HP, instead engines are now disabled uh, and set on fire, causing the vehicle to explode after 5 seconds. So, I'm so glad to finally see this in PUBG, it's really annoying when somebody shoots your vehicle and it explodes automatically, especially in squads when there is 4 people shooting at a vehicle and they wipe entire squad just like that. So finally now, first vehicle will burst into flames and then after 5 seconds it's gonna explode. So you still got a 5 seconds to jump out of vehicle. Which is good. Uh, vehicles can still explode instantly if taking a large ra uh, radial damage like red zones, uh, C4, etc. Yes, C4 has been added in this patch as well, we'll come to that in short. Exploding vehicles now receive both linear and uh, angular velocity instead of only linear. Vehicle movement after exploding should look uh, a bit less static now. Also great addition. Additionally, vehicles will no longer receive uh, increased collision damage when uh, they're rolled over. Also, another thing that was really annoying is when you drive a vehicle over a hill and it just rolls over and just destroys the fucking vehicle. This is how new damage on vehicles works now. Engine 100%, body 75% and roof 50%. Most vehicles now have multiple uh, damage zones which uh, apply dif uh, different uh, damage multipliers. Applies to following vehicles. Buggy, Dacia, US, Mirado, Pickup, Ronnie and Zima. All other vehicles receive damage as before equally regardless of uh, area hits, so they ch didn't change on all vehicles, just on some vehicles. But these are the ones you're gonna drive the most of your time, so it's okay. Damage zones, engine 100%, engine area usually located at the front, body 75%, front and rear doors, rear and bottom sides of body, roof 50% damage, roof panel, roof pillar, seats, mirrors. Uh, boat armor, boats are now granted 5 static damage reduction, also a great thing. Even though I don't drive boats very often in this game. Then here we are, new throwable, C4. In my opinion this is pretty useless, because it takes 16 seconds uh, to explode after it's being thrown. Detonation cannot be stopped or activated early, so you have to wait for 16 seconds for this thing to explode. And there is LED on the C4 and audible beeping with increased uh, intensity, clearly uh, audible inside the damage radius which warns you of upcoming explosions. So it warns you that it's gonna explode and it gives you 16 seconds uh, to escape. Now effective uh, radius for damage is 25 meters and lethal radius is 15 meters. So if you don't bail 15 meter radius uh, uh, in those 16 seconds you're dead, pretty much, so it's gonna fuck you up. A C4 doesn't stick to players, but it sticks to most of surfaces and vehicles. Uh, the damage on C4 extends vertically, but with slightly less range. Lethal radius of 12.5 uh, meters vertically. The shockwave emitted from the explosion is powerful, it damages all enemies within its radius even if they are behind cover, so you cannot hide from C4. Due to weight of the C4 uh, you can throw it far and you can carry many, so you can throw it only a few meters in front of you. Uh, found as roll spawn on Erangel, Miramal, Wikendi and Senhog. They didn't add it on Karakin because Karakin already has uh, Panzerfaust and Sticky Bombs, which makes sense. C4 will be added to training mode at later date. Uh, you can also find C4 in crates, I heard. I don't know if that's true, but okay. Spike Trap, uh, it, it's been uh, extended a length by 50%. Again, I, I don't think anyone's gonna use it. And yeah, my final opinions and thoughts on C4 are it's, it's useful if you stick it to a vehicle, but again, it has a beeping sound and it takes 16 seconds to explode. I don't think you will 
almost kill anyone with this, honestly. The only time when it might get useful, like I said, is if you stick it on a vehicle, but only if player doesn't notice, which I don't think it's gonna, you know, happen, because, it, like I said, it has this beeping sound, so it's gonna be pretty no noticeable. And the other uh, moment it, it might get useful is when circle gets small and you want to flesh out that camper from the shack or building or something. That's when you might use the C4, otherwise I, I don't really know how you're gonna kill people with this, but okay. Parachute follow feature is finally implemented in PUBG. It, it was supposed to be added in uh, update 6.2, but it was removed uh, due to some technical issues. Basically, it's the same thing that Apex Legend has. You know, um, one is a leader of the squad, and when he jumps out, everyone jumps out. So this is very useful when you're playing team modes like duos or squads, and uh, all other teammates will follow that one. Of course, you can uh, press a button and go your own way, but this really helps you to keep the squad together when they're landing. So, pretty useful, uh, useful thing. And uh, yeah, these are the things that that are about this version feature, like icon that uh, you can click disable follow option, stuff like that. Esports tab. Uh, again, uh, another eSports event is going on, it's World Cup, P uh, PTC series, so PUBG Continental series is once again happening. You got teams that you can pick, and then if you guess which one will win, uh, you get cool skins and shit. Uh, but this time you have to pay for the coupon, you can only earn one by watching tournaments. Uh, so you still get one for free, but... If you want more, you, you'll have to pay with real money, which is stupid in my opinion. First time it wasn't like that. You could get one coupon for free, one vote, and that's it. Now they just change it to milk money from players um, just to get skins, and that's it. And these are some of the skins. This is M416 skin. I mean, they, they look cool, can't deny, but I mean, not paying real money for cosmetics honestly it doesn't matter to me that much but it looks cool what is it is you know? it's true that it looks cool I would like to win some of this stuff but okay what's next uh, we can be yeah train system improvement they improved the rail road around the uh, we can be for trains um, add a new train line, uh, improve uh, uh, the existing lines as well, they're more connected now as you can see, uh, stations and signals, so yeah they added the signal on station that now makes uh, noise, it, notice, it notifies you that the train is coming and these uh, red lights will just go from left to right, so it's a flashing traffic light and unique arrival and aperture sounds will now alert you to arriving and departing trains so yeah that's pretty cool trains will now move through two stations before changing direction to give you some more time to catch up and jump on so that's pretty cool uh, additional cover was added added more tree and rock cover in towns and regions where it was lacking dino lands uh, artificial geysers have been added to dino lands i already think that was there before but it wasn't artificial or whatever I don't know uh, now Dino Land has to get these years why not loot balance increase DMR, DMR spawns uh, slightly and we can be then they changed UI UX a little bit it's nothing really too important here they did some changes on rank mode that I absolutely don't give a shit about some changes on custom matches um, and then here are the skins and items and bunch of bug fixes and that's pretty much it so before I jump into a game I shortly wanted to comment on bot patch as well once more so 
Actually, in my opinion, it turned out okay. It's not that bad. The game is not dead. PUBG is still third most played game on Steam. It's it's far from dead. And uh, bots, uh, yes, they suck. They're bad. I still think they should be removed from the game. But but honestly, like I said, it's not really that bad because when you're playing during the day, you'll get paired with real players most of the time. The only time when you're gonna see bots is uh, really late at night and early in the morning when there is no people when they're asleep then they get replaced with bots so real player gets get uh, replaced with bots and then game sucks yeah there's a lot of bots but when you're playing during the day normally you'll get paired mostly with real players but you're still gonna see some bots here and there so it's still not great but not terrible in the same time but yeah that's that's just my opinion. Alright, let's load the game and let's let's get a chicken dinner, shall we? Alright guys, 100 alive, we're on the plane for Wikendi. Changed my character's outfit a little bit. I got bored of the old one though. And I'm ready to jump out right here. Let's go. At these hangars, usually good loot in there. Yeah, just a little yawn. I'm yawning. So why, guys? Alright. There you go. Level 3 backpack. Fuck yeah. That's why I love this map. You can find all level 3 gear. Fucking bot. Where do you think you're going? So yeah, you can, you can get all level, level 3 gear on this map without looting a drop. That's just one of the reasons why I love it so much. This is my new level 2 backpack skin. Looks pretty cool. Okay. What's this? Frag. I will pick up the eagle as well. Uh, three smokes. I'll carry two. Crowbar, Half-Life style baby, misclicked, and I will take this M416 actually, yeah, plus I am level 100 with it, that's why I have mini unknown charm, looks pretty cool, a little player unknown. This is the AR I use the most in this game, so fuck yeah. This is how Spike Trap looks now as well. See, it's much longer. Still, I don't know who the fuck's gonna use that. Literally, who the fuck wants to use that? <laughs> it's bad. It really is. There you go. 
I just love landing at these hangars. Fuck ton of loot. had to shoot my west, right? And fuck it up, but doesn't matter. There's plenty more in that hangar. Alright. Killed two bots for now. That's not much. I'm okay with that. Two, three bots, that's fine. Ten bots, now that's not fine. Where the fuck did he die? Can't find the box. Oh, there it is. Cool. This one actually hit, hit me. I'm surprised that he was capable of landing few shots at me actually before I killed him. Is this a bot or is it a real player? They change grenade sounds again. Uh, seems like this was a bot as well. He fucked my west up again. Stupid motherfucker. I have to go back and get a new one again. God fucking damn it. I hate when that shit happens to me. So that's three bots for now. 80 alive. And it's been only like what? 10 minutes into a game? Hopefully no one disturbs me anymore. <sighs> Anything good in here? I got fucking rights. Take the extended mag for Deagle. Hate when I like just misclick. I think my gun is empty and then I just like left click to reload and I fire. Mm, more bots, right? How convenient. Looks like I'm un unlucky today with bots. Times scope. Dude, I don't even know what to throw away. I'm I'm confused. Oh really? I have to throw something away, I don't know what. <laughs> Fuck these bandages, I guess. Yeah, should be good. Hello, pan. 
I love to call it additional armor. Um, yeah, sure. I'll take this. There you go. Oh, yeah. Level 3 helmet. That feels so good when you can't get one shot at anymore. In the head. Unless it's AVM. Alright, kill four bots for now. Woohoo. That's an achievement. <laughs> I could have taken the fucking red dot. That I've taken off the M416 and put it on my Deagle, but never mind. It's over now, I'm not going back for that red dot, I'll find a new one somewhere, eventually. Uh, doors opened, somebody's been through here. Uh, damn it. Everything's picked up. Oh, bullshit, man. Look at this guy. Hey, 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 bot! Hey! Hey! Let's just get the deal kill. Bye bye. Five bot kills, wow. Alright, it's, it's really my unlucky day with the bots. Yeah. Welcome back to bot grounds. I don't know what's up. A few days ago I played and there was barely any bots. Look, there's fucking another one. What the shit, man? Killed six bots. Come on, game. Don't do me that. Like, it's stupid now. My video doesn't make any sense. I said, like, you know. You won't meet any bots if you play during the day. And th th this video says all the opposite. It's like I'm lying, but I'm really not lying, guys. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Usually I don't meet this many bots at this time. Am I gonna meet at least one real player? Today? Please. Just wanna kill real people. How hard's that game? Huh? I haven't found C4 either. Anywhere. I don't think I will find it. It's pretty rare to find one. And I wanted to show you how it works and all that. Looks like I'm not finding any C4 this this game. That's my kill. Whoever's that there. That that's that's my kill. Uh it could be a real player. 
He shot me in the head a few times. Yeah, it is a real player. Real player. Finally. Hopefully he doesn't frag me, otherwise I'm pretty fucked. Check this out, boys. I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna do what's called a pro gamer move. Seriously, put the recoil on this weapon. <laughs> That's fucked up. Seriously. <laughs> oh man. Here we go, I'm all level 3. Oh man, <laughs> six times on UMP. <laughs> Like, check this shit out. <laughs> no recoil. I need a sniper rifle now. That's all, literally. UMP is just OP, man. I love it. This this gun never had any recoil. You spray with this shit as much as you want. You'll still hit hit like everything, almost. like to stop for that firefight behind me. But yeah. I gotta get myself to the zone. And vehicle bail. Some more UMP ammo. Remember, boys, all you need is a UMP. Where's this guy stopping? Let's take care of this guy. He stopped here with a vehicle. Fuck is he? Is that a vehicle? Nah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run, you little bitch. Poor guy. I just finish him off with a grenade. <laughs> I love the new grenade sounds. Oh, I'm 
other bots. There you go. Ten kills. Ten freaking kills. That's how you know there is a lot of bots. But I killed two real players, I'll take that. zone. Don't do that. Really? Those guys stopped just to watch shoot me. <sighs> no you don't. Oh boy. I am so dead. There's gotta be a guy on this hill that I'm about to climb. I guess I'm just gonna wood it around. Oh shit. <coughs> Didn't expect this big drop. How you kill a sniper? You use a DMR. There's another sniper here. Yeah, yeah, right here. To be wearing, you should be afraid of us. Got you in the sights of my rifle scope. Better take a look around before your head explodes. Take the show on the road. See the victim's ladder. Better watch where you go. Or your mind can shatter. Better pack your grenade. You can step into us. I'm magic creature with the body. See them piling up. Take a real big pleasure out of watching them fall. It's a good thing, I try to free for all I'm about to Killed. live out my sickness Get my opinion Climb up to the top and start stopping That's your best friend It takes 10 men to stop it Here I'm coming Come on, so a fucking tree, dude it. Tell us if be fair Y'all better be scared Don't care I'm not still be okay But not gonna be ready Alright, just an SLR guy left. He's probably gonna kill me. Where the fuck is he now? Brain matter will splatter all according to fate. 
idea. There's no doubt with that they found my landmine. It's all good now. I got my snipe size line. <laughs> this is easy like gaming at Tiger Bay. Shots so accurate they're taking down tanks. What was he thinking? Prawn with a level 2 helmet like that? <laughs> Alright. GG. I guess. <laughs> I told you I'm gonna make a chicken dinner today, so here we are. Alright. It sucked because I killed a lot of bots, I know, but hey, chicken dinner is a chicken dinner. I had fun killing these last guys, so can't say it wasn't fun. Well, that's it for this PUBG video, guys. I know I didn't show you, uh, showed you everything that this patch brings, but I can't really because C4 is really hard to find and all that shit. Uh, anyway, guys, if you enjoyed uh, this video, then go ahead and leave a like, share, comment, or subscribe if you want to. If you don't want to, you don't have to. It's totally fine. Uh, also, you can join my Chris Facebook group. Link is down below in the description. Together with my ads at FM where you can leave any questions. If you have any questions, and thank you guys for watching. Uh, I appreciate all of your support and everything you've done for me and my channel. Uh, I love you guys, and I'll definitely see you in the next videos. Chris out.